Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I was just reading on Forbes this morning that February 2021 gun sales have decreased by 32%, and it left many people wondering, why is this the case? Now, all we've heard in the past year is record gun sales. Oh, these people are going out buying guns. Even liberal sites like the Huffington Post are saying, why are they doing this? And we saw first time gun owners buy guns in droves. We saw people like us who continue to do what we do. And all of a sudden there are records being set for the sales of guns. But all of a sudden there's a decrease. Now, for the record, 1.5 million guns were sold last month in February, and that's still 10% higher than February of 2020. So a lot of people are still buying guns, but what's the deal? Why are the overall sales decreasing? Well, the first and foremost reason that I have is the lack of ammo. It is very difficult to purchase a gun and sit sit there and stare at it and play with it and envision what it's like shooting when you can't actually do it. You know, it's, 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 it's no longer fun to go practice because every shot you take has a dollar sign next to it. And that's when it just doesn't happen as much where you don't, you don't get to enjoy the gun. That's like, you know, buying a basketball that stays deflated. You can't go out and play. You know, we can't do what we do. It's hard to train. You know, do we want to use up the ammo that we already have and perhaps not be able to replenish it? I don't know many people that want to do that because the future is so uncertain. Secondly is the price. The price of guns are outrageous right now. The new and the used market. Now, if you believe all the statistics that say most Americans live paycheck to paycheck, it's pretty hard to buy a gun that you save up for and then have to pay that same amount to get the ammo, all right? And then the gun prices are inflated. All you have to do is look at the manufacturers and how they already increased many of the MSRPs on their site. You may see something that's $200 more than it was six months ago on their site. I'm seeing that. It's happening with just about all of them. And so... There are inc increases in price of guns and ammo, and that drives a lot of people out of the market. People are still buying, but it's just not as, as exciting as it once was when it was more affordable. Another thing is the availability. People are going in their gun store, and they want a certain type of gun. It's just not there. And then when you go online, we get back to the price thing. It's, it's, it's increased drastically. So... We don't have the same availability. Now, I believe that the ammo companies are cranking out ammo. I believe that the gun manufacturers are cranking out guns. And I think that also speaks to why we're not seeing a, a whole lot of new releases so far. They're coming out. They're trickling out slowly. But we're not seeing a lot of them like we typically would at a, at a shot show, you know, where they, they show off the new stuff. The reason being is they are cranking out the guns that they already make, that they're already tooled for, that the ones that they have been selling all along. And they're, I think many are still waiting to see what's going to happen because if they know their customers can't get ammo, they may not sell those guns. Another thing, we keep hearing about new gun owners. You know, the new gun owners are driving the market. Well, the new gun owners are not driving the market. I'll tell you who's driving the market, me and you. The people who love this, like what we add to the American economy is so important. It helps drive it in many ways that these liberal politicians don't want to discuss. They claim they want the economy to do great, but yet they talk about banning. All right, I'm getting off topic here, but they, the new gun owners needs were met. You know, they may have bought their shotgun, they may have bought their pistol, they, have, they may have mooched a half a box of ammo off their buddy. You know, I don't think that is, shall I say, driving the market. It's always been people like us who drive the market, people who live for this stuff, people who love to go shoot, practice, compete. You know, we, we train. We are the ones that drive the market and we are just not quite doing what we once did. And so 
the new gun owners, their needs have been met and I think their needs have been met. You know, you, they, they, they're not going to, uh, you know, go out there and, and search for the newest and greatest gun that was just released. They got their gun, they're happy, that's that. And then lastly is that because records were, have been broken and so many people were buying and all this and there's increased price and you, you add everything together and you can see that you can't keep the same pace. <laughs> you just can't. You can't keep breaking records and breaking records if the availability is not there and the price is skyrocketed. And you got companies like Cheaper Than Dirt who are really taking advantage of the situation. You have people who are buying up stuff and reselling it for the sole purpose of making money, really taking advantage of the situation. And you have online retailers who know that as soon as they put their product out there, even at an outrageous price, People are going to buy it, and yes, they too are taking advantage of the situation. Once again, we are in the perfect storm, and I don't see any normalcy coming anytime soon. I wish I could think differently, but it just is a storm that won't go away, and hopefully something will change, and hopefully it'll change quick because this is getting old fast. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.